Here on Dr. Green's Organic Prescription, we're trying to ditch the pesticides and deliver to you the healthiest diet possible. So I think you'll want to pay close attention to our next tip because it concerns one of America's most popular fresh fruits. Number seven is the apple. And I can remember giving an apple to my teacher when I was a kid. Well, today, let's let apples teach us about health and nutrition, organic apples. Because it turns out that apples are consistently on the list, somewhere on the list, of the most contaminated fruits and vegetables with pesticides. The reason apples make my list, make the organic prescription, is that they're so much more popular than any of the other fruits on the list. And this tells us two things. One, that by choosing organic apples, we can go a long way towards reducing our family's pesticide exposure. And two, that by choosing organic apples, we can exert our consumer power to help change agriculture. In 2005, the apple was the second most consumed fresh fruit in the United States after bananas. And it was, apple juice was the second most consumed juice after orange juice. Together, this makes apples the biggest pesticide problems among fruits. And in particular, apples are a significant source of organophosphate pesticides, along with conventional tomatoes and imported grapes. Now, the organophosphate pesticides were originally commercialized as nerve agents, chemical warfare agents, and they still work on the nervous system. They're neurotoxins. They're used as insecticides. Mounting recent evidence has linked organophosphate pesticides with developmental delays, with decreased intelligence, with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder in kids, and with altered sex hormone levels in adults, lower testosterone in men. Thankfully, organic apple orchards are on the rise. We're having some success here. When I was in medical school, I was taught that the apple was nature's junk fruit. All it had in it was about six milligrams of vitamin C, touch of fiber, and uh, not a lot else, some sugars. But apples weren't at fault, our tests were. It wasn't until 1928 that vitamin C was even discovered, and in the 21st century that a bunch of new healthful polyphenols were discovered. We didn't even have the test to measure. So now we know that with all these new phytonutrients and polyphenols that are there, that the apple has the equivalent not of six milligrams of vitamin C, but 1,500 milligrams worth of vitamin C-like activity. Most of it not coming from vitamin C, the simple form we used to be able to measure, but all these wonderful related compounds. And organic apples tend to have higher levels of these polyphenols and phytonutrients. For those of you keeping score, an apple has about 5,000 ORAC units. So an apple a day is a great idea, and we're beginning to learn lots of new reasons why. There's research that shows that eating an apple, two apples a day can lower cholesterol significantly. If you had an average cholesterol of around 240, it could drop it to under 200. Now these are pretty big pills, but a couple of these a day has a lot fewer side effects than other kinds of medicines. And researchers at Cornell University in 2005 did some animal studies on breast cancer in apples. And what they did is they gave these animals uh, carcinogens that were pretty much guaranteed to give them breast cancer, but then fed some of them various amounts of apples. And those getting the equivalent of an apple a day had a 25% reduced chance of developing breast cancer. And those who had more had a 61% chance, reduced chance of developing breast cancer. The researchers concluded that if American women would just eat an apple a day, that could be enough to turn the tide on the rise in breast cancer. Apples are wonderful foods, packed with nutrients that we're just beginning to discover, organic apples even more so, and without all the pesticides. And as an added bonus, in blind taste tests, organic apples taste better too. Let me give you a quick shopping tip about apples and other fruit. Often there's a little sticker on there with a zip code-like number. If the number starts with a nine, it's organic. If it starts with a four or other number, it's not. So let's let apples teach us about healthy eating and healthy agriculture. For more information, visit me at drgreen.com. I'm Dr. Alan Green, and apples are my organic prescription for today.